Okay, now that I've made that little adjustment to my 9 out of 10 camera bag, it's now gone to a 10 out of 10. And in this video, I'm going to tell you a little about, bit about what's in my camera bag for 2023. And more importantly, a little bit about the camera bag itself, because that was the catalyst for a bit of a change of gear and a bit of a change of setup for this little travel season that, that I'm currently in, as well as on a day to day usage here in London in the UK. So let's get into it. Okay, so let me start with the bag itself. As I've already said, it was the inspiration behind kind of redesigning my camera carry for this season of travel in particular, and also on a day-to-day -day carry because I'm trying to slimline my camera carry and I'm really enjoying a little bit of a, a lighter weight carry being a little bit more incognito, especially as I get into some more street style photography in and around London as well as some travels around the world. So the sling bag this small sling bag which is not a specific photo bag has been the perfect catalyst for that and actually you can't fit a huge amount in it so it really makes me think and be more mindful about what i am carrying and then it just kind of simplifies the photography experience and actually makes it far more enjoyable and makes me personally more creative with less gear to worry about so the bag itself is made by a company called AER and this is called the Day Sling. I picked it up in this X-Pack material, which I really, really like from, I just like the feel of the material. It feels very durable and rugged and a little bit weatherproof as well. But what I really liked about it was that it has an orange interior, which if you use a lot of tech, you'll know most of it is black in colour, so it's super easy to find and I just like it from a design point of view. The bag looks very slimline pretty inconspicuous i don't think you would guess that it's a camera bag or anything like that and as it's not been designed purely as a camera bag it can be used for multi-purpose so on my way back from bali for example i stuffed all my camera stuff away in my backpack and i just used it as a bit of a travel bag to come through a couple of airports and managed to fit my overhead headphones in there my bose qc35s as well as some other comfort bits like blindfolds headphones just some bits and pieces that i wanted to have to hand on the plane and i was also able to have my passport and boarding pass and my phone to hand for all of those documents that you constantly need when you are walking through airports and being able to have this on my body it's pretty small it didn't get in the way i could sit down on the plane seat with it and just stuff it under the seat in front and not run the risk of lo losing loads of stuff on the plane or leaving it in the seat pockets so it's a win-win situation also while i was away used it primarily as a camera bag on the move and in a hot country it was just perfect to have this really really light carry that didn't make me super hot there's some really nice internal in organization so some small pockets for little bits and pieces as well as a larger main compartment area where i stuff my camera and an additional prime lens as well so i will link all the products down below but let me get into what i'm carrying around in this bag for my photography my main carry at the moment is my sony a7c mark one now that there's a mark ii out um, and I'm using the 40 millimeter 2.5 prime lens. Uh, in addition, I was stuffing in my 24 millimeter uh, 2.8 lens, which is what I'm currently filming on as well. That was a bit of a, you know, depended on the situation, whether I was carrying them both, but they both fit in there really nicely. In addition to that, camera wise, I have added the DJI Action 4 to my lineup. I made a video about it and you can check it out up here been using this for some of my pov style shots and videos so i hope you've been enjoying those i'm absolutely loving this for a little bit of vlogging and capturing some behind the scenes action and it's so small and tiny it just slips right down the side next to my camera and it's absolutely perfect it takes up pretty much no additional weight or space i can also pop a little mountain with it as well that's pretty much it for the camera gear itself i can pop in there a few of my accessories so in one of the tiny little pouches in here i've got all sorts of dongles i've got like a uh, lightning to sd card there i've got some spare sd cards crucial usb to sd card reader for my ipad and a few little converters and adapters for all the cables and things you need usb c to usb a 
a little flash drive, micro, micro USB, micro SD to normal SD. You've got to have all these things. So I've got a whole collection of bits and pieces. They're all pretty small and they fit in one of those tiny little pockets should I need them. In addition to that, I usually carry around with me my AirPods Pro. These are the first generation, but they work a treat on the go and pair up with all of my Apple devices really, really nicely. Got in here a spare battery for the Sony A7C. To be honest, when I use it for photography, I don't ever really need it as long as I'm fully charged. Apart from that, there's a nice internal zipper pocket. And when I was traveling, I had my passport, whoop, my passport and my money in there, as well as a little Apple AirTag, just in case I were to lose this bag, because that would be a pretty sad day. Um, that's about it in the main compartment. Now, there's a nice zipper on the front where I tend to keep my keys, which are on a, a lanyard that they also have an Apple AirTag on them. And the all important Carmex lip balm. I go nowhere without my lip balm. Comfort is king. And then finally, doo -doo -doo, the pocket I love the most, which is on the back and it's actually hidden under a little flap there you can unzip it and in here this is next to my body so i always keep my phone in here because it's a bit like having it in a pocket and i know that it's nice and safe in there i use the iphone 14 pro and i do use this a lot for my photography as well and those behind the scenes and instagram kind of shots so i like having it to hand and easy to grab as i said already when you're traveling also you've got your boarding passes and all kind of documentations that you need to show on a regular basis so just having it in that pocket really nice and safe next to your body you feel pretty safe that no one's going to be able to grab it off you very easily without you realizing. And that is pretty much it. I don't overload the bag. I try to keep it to a minimal. As I said, it's just my camera and really predominantly now my two prime lenses. Occasionally I'll pop on my 90 millimeter, which actually does fit in this bag just on its own. You can't get a lot else in there, but I'm really just shooting 24 and 40 at the moment, just so that I can really get those ju creative juices flowing and, and reduce the decision fatigue of what lens I'm using. Um, you can pop any little additional accessories like some filters in if you needed plenty of space for that. The only other addition which I can fit in this bag and I do occasionally for traveling or just on a day-to-day -day basis is my iPad mini which if you've watched my previous video on that is up here and I will be making one of my workflow of editing photos in Lightroom but this is my best friend when I'm on the go I'm going traveling again this weekend and I will just be taking this and not my laptop it's so small it fits in the bag I can edit photos I can browse I can read some news whatever I want to do and get pretty much everything productive done that I want to on my iPad and it's just fantastic that it fits in this bag as well so all in all that's a pretty productive pack for such a small carry um I couldn't recommend this AER brand to be honest highly enough I'd be tempted to buy another one of their bags the build quality is super nice minus that fidlock I do like the fidlock but I do not like the bag falling off me uh, at any given moment so just be aware of that and I would definitely advise perhaps some gaff tape and just sticking that together so that that does not happen. Um, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, I always like a what's in your camera bag kind of video. Drop me a comment below and uh, if you did enjoy it and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video.